Hey, so today we're gonna to be talking about five tips that I wish I knew before getting into cybersecurity. And stay tuned because four is gonna shock you. Okay, don't click away, I'm just kidding. This isn't Buzzfeed. So I don't have the ability to go back in time, unfortunately. So I guess the next best thing I can do is make this video for you guys on five things that I wish that if I could go back in time, I would tell myself uh, before getting into cybersecurity. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The lesson number one is that you will never be able to learn everything. Let that resonate for a second. Especially in the beginning, I think I really went overboard. I had this unrealistic expectation that if I just worked super hard every single day, I could learn everything in cybersecurity in like a month. And that's just not possible. Um, I think anybody in the field will tell you that even, even people who are veterans in the field with about 30 years of experience, even chief information security officers will tell you that it is not possible to learn everything in the field of cybersecurity. You're always learning. So don't get me wrong, it's great to have a desire to learn, but you really need to be able to balance this. And let me liken this to something like a crash diet. Crash diets can work well for maybe days, maybe weeks, if you're really lucky, maybe some months, but eventually what happens when it all comes crashing down on you? Um, this can be really similar in cybersecurity. What happens when the motivation is completely gone? What happens when you've just completely studied yourself into a serious burnout? I've been there. Um, that's why if I could go back in time, I would just maybe advise myself to just put it all into perspective. Uh, identify which learning objectives I would like, put it on a reasonable time frame, and then just go for it like that. Don't go into it with the unrealistic expectation that you can just learn everything out there that is possibly uh, related to cybersecurity. So I'm gonna tell you, I've been seriously burnt out before, and it is not somewhere that you wanna be. So if you're just getting into cybersecurity, if I, if I could really get this one thing across to you, um, just find some balance. Find something in your life that you can use to, to really just balance it out. It, it's awesome if you're desiring to learn and you're just really, really studying hard in cybersecurity, but put that into perspective. So I have a really interesting future video idea that I would like to do. It's a little bit different than what I've normally done in this channel, but I think it'll be really a good opportunity to, to show my more creative side and do a video just on how I combat burnout myself. I think I have some unique ways. I like to get outdoors, I like to ride bikes, and, and just do all this stuff to really, when I, to recharge myself and really just allow myself to, to open my brain up and absorb more information when I am sitting down for this deep work or this study time. So lesson number two is that there is no secret sauce or no silver bullet, no single course or book that's gonna teach you everything you need to know in cybersecurity. So there's a lot of false marketing out there that I think really drives this misconception. There's a lot of courses, for example, say 15 hours to become an elite ethical hacker. I'm just gonna break it to you right now. You're not gonna become an elite ethical hacker and learn everything possible in this 15 hours. You're gonna learn a lot of extremely valuable information, but just, just really think about it reasonably. And this course is not gonna just teach you everything you need to know. It's not gonna be this, this secret sauce. You just need to accept that knowledge in this field comes with time and comes with practice. Okay guys, I was lying to you. There actually is a secret sauce and it's persistence. Persistence will get you further than pretty much anything else in this field. Persistence really is the key to long-term success in cybersecurity. You need to be at it for years. You need to be constantly open to taking in this knowledge and you need to be open to these new opportunities and just problem solving and just constantly just getting at it, but in a controlled way. Because like I said before in the previous lesson, you got to avoid burnout. So there's one thing I would really like to point out in this lesson that I think will give you a lot of comfort and it really puts things into perspective. We all have the same materials out there available to us online. So we all have the same books, we all have the same courses, the same YouTube videos. There's no one with a specific advantage, there's no secret community holding all of the knowledge in cybersecurity that they're the only ones, um, they just take a, a 15 hour ethical hacker pro course and they immediately uh, know everything, they become the, the most senior hacker at their company. Okay, just really put this into perspective. We, we're all in the same place. Um, everybody, every chief information security officer out there, all these managers, they all had the same information available. So just think about that next time you're feeling a little bit stressed out. 
um, with some of the material that you're covering. Just be persistent and really develop this a manageable plan on your learning and you'll get there. Don't worry about it. So before we get into lesson three, could I ask you guys one thing real quickly? Could you please just scroll down and hit that like button? And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm working really hard to putting out really quality content here and more of these informational videos and then tutorials as well. So I'll, I'll quit talking and I'll get right into lesson three. Lesson three is to avoid jumping from topic to topic to topic. Let me be honest with you guys and let me know if, you, if you're in a similar situation. I get really excited at the thought of starting a new course, starting a new certification or anything like that, or just even reading the newest security research. Does that make me weird? Honestly, I don't really care. Let me give you guys a pretty relatable example of for when I first just got into cybersecurity. When you join these platforms like Pluralsight and Cyberary, you're presented with a massive amount of courses in various topics. They all have extremely shiny uh, thumbnails, very catching descriptions, and they just look extremely interesting and they, and they really seem like they're gonna be what, what's gonna propel you to that next level. I cannot tell you how many courses I started and I watched maybe the first 25 to uh, 45 minutes and then I just bailed out. This is so much time wasted. If you find yourself falling into this trap, I would just advise you one thing. If you're making that commitment to actually click on the course, just give it a, a bit more time. Even if it's not exactly what you expected, uh, try to take some useful information out of it that you can apply to, to what you're working on, whether that be school or your job. So the key takeaway from this is really just stick with the topic until you at least understand the basics of it because then that's just one more thing to add to your arsenal. Even if it's something that's not particularly as shiny as uh, web application hacking, for example, it, it's just good. All of this stuff is constantly being added to our tool belt and will help us later on in the road. You'll never know when you're gonna call upon these random skills. And if you're just jumping out of courses, maybe after the introduction or after 25 minutes in, you're, you're really wasting a lot of time if you do this course after course after course. So just stick with it. So lesson number four is to just Google it. It sounds simple, but I think people really spend way too much time, whether that be uh, based on pride, they think Google's cheating, and they're really just getting stuck on problems and wasting time. I completely relate to this. In the beginning, I don't know exactly why, but I would just be stuck on problems for extremely long periods of time, and I, I just wouldn't Google the, I wouldn't Google anything. I wouldn't Google any hints. Um, I wouldn't Google any background information to help familiarize myself with the problem, and I think that this was a massive waste of time. Now that I've been in the cybersecurity industry for a long time, I can tell you confidently that I Google pretty much every single problem that I am presented with. And this isn't because I necessarily don't know the answer. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I'll Google something. It's number one is to if I kind of know something, it's to provide myself with some more background information. This really helps and it helps you with your continuous learning as well. When you Google something, um, you're confirming that you're delivering maybe the client or your coworker the right information. Even if you think that you know it, just Google it. There's no reason not to. Consulting Google or an online resource is not cheating in any way. You gotta get this out of your head. Once you get this out of your head, you're gonna be able to really excel and, and see how much you're gonna be able to get done. So if you're one of those people that's hesitant to Google something or look for outside information, you may be asking the question, why do I work so hard to get these certifications? Or why do I take this course? Or why do I spend four years in a college degree if I'm just gonna Google it? Let me put it this way. If you present someone with zero cybersecurity knowledge, the same problem, and you tell them to just Google it, they're not gonna get there. You really need to understand the problem you're calling upon all this knowledge that you've built to understand the problem, understand the context, and really craft up a good result. Google does not hold the answer to every single problem, okay? That's obvious, but you're gonna be able to use your knowledge to interpret the problems that are out there, to interpret the solutions that are out there, and bring that back, apply that to the context of the problem that you're trying to solve. So it's not that straightforward. You're not just Googling, for example, this is a terrible example, but what is the date? Obviously that's gonna come up in, the, in a snippet on Google and it's gonna tell you the date. 
You're going to be consulting maybe uh, Stack Overflow. You're going to be consulting maybe research papers. So it's not just totally basic Google searching. You really need to apply your knowledge and do intelligent scholarly Google searching. So I can pretty much guarantee you that everyone in the cybersecurity industry will tell you that they are professional Googlers. Okay. So there's one more thing that I want to add to this whole Google it lesson. It's a slightly off the topic of when you're solving problems, but the, the lesson is to, when you have a question to Google it first before going to someone and asking them, most of the time you can really eliminate this, this wasted time consulting another person and you're wasting their time too. There's nothing worse than when someone asks you a question that can be so easily Google Googled. So I'm going to tell you a little personal story now. I have two brothers that are in college for cybersecurity right now, and I honestly give them kind of a hard time. When they ask me a question, pretty much 90% of the time, I just tell them to Google it. You might think that I'm being hard on them, but I'm trying to prepare them for when they get into the industry, and they're not just going to go and ask a, a senior manager um, what port is SSH. So the best way to approach a peer that might be a senior to you or someone with more experience in the field while being respectful of their time is to just do your research on the question before you're going to ask them. It's okay that you're asking them a question. Don't let me scare you away from asking people who might be seniors a question, but do your research and formulate a solid question that they can answer in a, in a good way and get you the information that you need. They will really respect this and it will go an extremely long way. Now we're moving on to lesson number five and lesson number five is very simple, but I think a lot of people need to hear it and it's just start. Time is your friend. Start now. The best time to start is now. I really hear it frequently. People will say, I'm going to wait till this life event occurs before I can get into cybersecurity. I'm going to wait until um, January 1st of next year before I'm going to get into cybersecurity or before I'm going to get this certification. The best thing that you have on your side right now is time. Use it to your advantage. There's really nothing that is going to be different today than three months from now. So you might as well get that ball rolling. Once you get the ball rolling, it is so much easier. Once you have this momentum, you're, you're really just able to, to learn and you're able to motivate yourself, it's just so much better. So just get the ball rolling. So the biggest thing I can say with, with this just start mentality is really three months from now, what's gonna be different? What, you're still gonna have to do it, right? So if it's the certification that you're afraid of, you're still gonna have to take the certification, so why not just start now? If it's going and introducing yourself to the community or joining a club, just do it now. There's really no, there's really no reason. Three months time is just going to put you in maybe even more of a worried state. So a lot of my audience knows that I'm a big mountain biker. So I'm going to draw this conclusion to mountain biking, right? So if you approach a jump and you know that you're capable of doing this jump, your best option, either way, if you decided that you're going to do the jump, you're going to go over it. So why would you stay there for 45 minutes at the jump and just psych yourself out? You're going to waste 45 minutes. You're going to stress yourself out. And honestly, you're going to increase your risk of getting injured just because you're overthinking it. Now, tying this back to cybersecurity, it's really the same thing. You're going to be wasting time. You're going to be psyching yourself out even more. If it's going for a job interview, you might be even more nervous for this job interview. So my best advice here is to take the jump and enjoy the ride. So that's it for my video today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm working really hard to produce higher quality content for my audience. Uh, if you have any ideas for videos, please let me know in the description. I would love to hear this from my community and I'd love to direct my content to where everyone who's a loyal subscriber wants it to go. Thanks for checking this out and I'll see you next time.